coming that threatens our kingdom, our freedom. But we have a weapon. They are not prepared for. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Thank Thank you. you. First of all, congratulations on the movie. Absolutely adore this. Um, I just want to put a spotlight on Viola because she seems like one of those performers who every time we're like, oh, it's it's just another brilliant performance by Viola Davis. And then you see it and you're like, yep, it's it's just phenomenal. Like, Like every single time. Like when you're on set with them individually, with Viola, is that like an acting class, basically? Do you just stand back and kind of watch what she's doing? In many ways, not just obviously through her acting, but just in how she is on set, how she is off set, how she connects with the cast, how she connects with the crew, how visceral her choices are, um, and how you see her figuring it out. I think there is a misconception of um, people who have been in the industry for a long time that they just they just have it and they don't have to do the work. Um, she showed up and did the work just like the rest of us. And she was in there training probably more than all of us. Mm. Sometimes she would come in early in the morning and she'd have trained for an hour prior to that. Everything that you said, she's the example. And it was a pleasure to see that firsthand. As I was watching it, I was remembering a story I heard about Saving Private Ryan, where everyone kind of hated Matt Damon <clears throat> because he didn't have to do the specific physical training and everyone else did. So I'm like, did you all kind of hate John? Because he just gets to stand around not doing all this cool stunt work. Just chilling in his room. Sitting on a throne. I, I don't blame them because they were looking dusty half the time I came to that scene. Listen. They were looking it. dusty, sweaty. They were the hard workers. I was looking moisturized. <laughs> yeah. Do you have shoes on, on the car? Right? You yeah, have, I had you shoes. shoes. Shades. What a joy. Shade. Yeah, yeah, you, but you know, I, I was jealous though. I was like, these are where the real workers are. These are the ones that are going to change cinema. I will support it yeah. <laughs> from afar. From, from afar. afar. From, from, afar. from, 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 from <laughs> Also, by the time John arrived, we were so tired. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I don't think I even noticed yeah, anything you else. Are. Like you, <laughs> at some point. Yeah. I- they were numb by the time I arrived. They had been going in. I was very supportive. You know, I didn't, you know, put it all in their face. I just kind of done my thing and, and went home. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, you were like, was... how's it feel to be barefoot? Don't no, no, no. Fight <laughs> in the 3 a.m. again. What's that feel like? All I did was look at your lot's feet and then twiddle my toes a little bit in slippers. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about it. I'm sorry about it. I was looking at the the details of how it how the movie came to be and it felt like there were so many hurdles put in its place. And then you see the box office and you see the critical response and you see the audience response. And here in Ireland, there was a, there was a special screening for it and it was like the, the audience response was phenomenal. When you're proven right with a project like this, is it just, you just kind of bask and go, I told you this was going to this was going to work. This is going to do really well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not even going to do yeah, 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 yeah. it's the words. Yes. Like yeah. because sometimes it can feel like you're having to justify your very existence to people who don't understand it. It's like I'm real, man. I exist. Like I'm not I'm not a concept. I'm a real person with a real history. There are people like me who existed in history. There are people like me who are going to exist in the future. Mm. So how could it be that a story about somebody like me, like us, is not relevant, would not sell, would not um be executed well, would not um, you know, engage audiences? Like it's t- to hear that an audience in Ireland loved this film Mm. about 1800s Benin is both really heartening to me because I'm like oh what a relief but then also I'm like oh yeah because it's people it's it's human beings you know they know they know know. they know fighting them wars so I'm like yes like I you know and this is not a moment where I think we should sit back and not do the I told you so this is definitely an I told you so moment Mm. like loudly (laughs) loudly I told you so it's true there was nothing in my mind that that questioned the amount of work that was put in it put into it it, the script that we had the the rich history that we were telling everything about it is a strong and powerful successful film i genuinely feel like we've created the blueprint here and this is the example for many films like it i absolutely agree i think like a movie can be as good as possible and somehow somehow can still fall between the cracks so this is 
it's great that it's getting the response that it's getting. And I think that's fantastic. The response that it was getting from people sight unseen, people were already responding to the film without it even having coming out, uh, assuming incorrect details about it. I think Gina quite, did quite well in, in, in addressing that in her article. I think it was with the New York Times or LA, LA, Times. LA Times, right? Yeah. So I think she done quite well in breaking it down for, for people's concerns but i do also think it's a lesson for the masses with out of it like those kind of reactions do show symptoms of using social media too much by the way like if you are kind of like always responsive and reactive without sitting back and going hold on a second let me do more research mm -hmm. um let me find out what the filmmakers are saying then you will find yourself in this position feeling like an idiot <laughs> <laughs> And that's what you get anyway, because you planned this. But now you know the truth, you can now educate yourself a little bit more and then move on to, to greener pastures. It, it cannot be put any better than that. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, mate.